Using true or false questions for your personal study is a really efficient way to make your learning fun and engaging. It doesn't only consolidate your memory on things you've read, it also eliminates any form of confusion that can arise during your exam. In this video, I will teach you how to use ChatGPT to create your own AI-derived true or false questions with zero stress. Let's get into it. So in the last video, we talked about how to create beautiful mnemonics with ChatGPT and in today's lecture, we're going to dive into how you can create personalized true or false questions with artificial intelligence. So I have a prompt written out here that says create 10 true or false questions from these and I want you to also accompany the questions with your correct answer. So the way this can come in handy is that maybe you have your lecturer slide or maybe a particular material your lecturer just dropped for you and you are done reading it fine but then you need questions to practice and maybe in your school they don't really do a lot of uh, multiple choice like um abc they do a lot of true or false this is where chat gpt can come in handy for you as regards creating questions true or false questions so um all you have to do is copy the aspect of your lecturer slide i have a slide written here um it's actually my lecture on breakout plexus um Let's say there is the part of the lecture on um, the location of the different parts of the breakout places. You can actually copy the maybe a particular section of the slide and you can maybe copy it in bits. Maybe the slide is about, um, let's say, 20 pages. You can be copying them in five, five pages and you post to charge it, you paste there. Right. But I just want to copy this particular aspect of the slide and it's about the location of the breakout places. So we're going to copy this and then I go to my browser where I'm having charge GPT. I paste but then I've not copied my prompt my prompt here is create 10 true or false questions so that must come first so let me copy that um, I actually wrote it out there so you don't have to be typing so we don't have to be typing from the beginning again because that can be time consuming and I also attached that prompt in the video description so you can readily copy and paste to chat GPT so I already wrote out the prompt together with the area where I want questions from Create 10 true or false questions from this. And I don't just want you to create a question. I also want you to accompany the questions with their correct answers. Okay. So now let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. And boom. It starts creating questions on that particular aspect of the slide. So, and then it goes on and on like that. You can see it's bringing out the questions. And then it is accompanying them with their answers. The correct answer. This is the question. True or false? The roots of the breakout places lie above the anterior and middle scaling muscles of the neck. The answer is false. It's between anterior and middle scaling of the neck. And then it goes downwards like that. And you can get 10 questions. You can get as high as 20 as it suits you, basically. Again, it's the speed at which it does this for me. It always leaves me amazed, all right? So, and it will keep generating questions for you just strictly based on that that particular thing that you copied from your lecturer slide so it could be every it could be anything it could be another course in fact let's say pharmacology or let's say pharmacognosy or pharmaceutical microbiology one particular complex course you can copy them right here to chat gpt input your prompts and then you will derive questions from there all right so and let's say this is actually kind of messy let's have it in a tabular format let's have it in a table you know it's kind of a bit messy right here the, um, the questions their answers and the likes so but with this we'll be able to have the questions and their correct answers immediately you can see it's kind of more organized like this okay so the questions will be here um then the correct answer will be here as well and then it is kind of more organized this way and then you can just copy the table and paste it on your notepad all right so this is one among other beautiful things you can pull up with chat gpt you can create two or four questions more mcq questions flashcard as it is in a table like this you can convert this to a flashcard if you want and um it can come in handy in your personal study so that's it on this particular lecture in our next class we're going to create and fill in the blank questions with chat gpt right and it's one you shouldn't miss if you found this video helpful do hit the like button and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on our subsequent amazing content thank you the name is dean